welcome back to my channel. This is Arizona Rock Garden Designs with me, Julie E. And if you're just joining us, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please consider hitting the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and if you could please maybe even share it, I would deeply appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it helps me immensely. And I'm excited for this one. I've never tried it. I'm excited to see if my theory will work. Um, these are our colors that we're going to be working with today. We have got Liquitex Basic Gold right here in this cup. Huh, nope, wait, there's nothing in there. That's because for this, I put my colors into squeeze bottles. I cannot stand squeeze bottles. But for certain techniques, you kind of need them in order to have a little bit better control unless you've got really steady hands and a really good paper cut cup that you can point with or maybe the little pipettes or something I'm not steady enough for that stuff so yeah we broke out the old squeeze bottles again so yeah we've got the Liquitex gold or aura and then we have got the Arteza pearl strawberry red And then, such a gorgeous color, uh, Pearl Cactus Green by Arteza. Very pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty color. Okay, so we've got, well, they're all leaves, technically. A poinsettia is all leaves. There's not an actual blossom. It's just the newer leaves that come out through are red, while the older ones below are green. So, but anyway... Actually, it's the little yellow ones in the center that are the actual blossoms. So, little point set of knowledge I'd be dropping on you there. Ha <laughs> ha. Probably edit that out. Okay, and our base color. Our base color is a combination of Artist Loft Flow White mixed with, because I want, want it to shimmer a bit, so I put a little bit of um, the Versatemp Heavy Body Tempura, and it's just metallic silver, but man does this stuff shimmer. And uh, with that, I put also a little bit of the Sergeant Art Acrylic Pearlescent Mixing Medium in with that also. So that is our base color. These are all mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is 70% school glue, 30% water, and shake, and you can't do it with this cup, to the point of insanity. And let's see, where do we start? Let's put down our base. I will turn on some music for you, and hope you enjoy this during your Christmas afternoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by placing a few green dots and then swiping those out with um, cut playing cards. And I'm going to get the green part of the point set of first. And then I'm going to go around with red dots and swipe over the red dots coming out. And then we'll do our little gold dots in the center. So hopefully this works. We'll see. But yeah, so we'll be doing that. And I'll put you back on fast forward and listen to some more music. But I just wanted to kind of explain what the whole process is going to be. And what I'm hoping it'll look for, what to look for. So, okay.
Okay, well, I am going to let this set up a little bit more. Let it start drying. You can see it's starting to dry along the edges already. So I'm going to let this cure a little bit more, let it cook, and then I am going to come back in and then I will embellish my center then with the gold dots for the little um, poinsettia blossoms because I'm not getting the reaction I'm liking in the center. Um, my black and my gold are both sinking through the other paint and so yeah before that gets any muddier or anything or I end up with way too much paint in the center I'm just gonna let this set up and then come back and re-embellish with the gold paint so I'll see you in about well for you it'll be a second <laughs> for me it'll be about 15 minutes but for you I'll be back in a snap okay I'm back and if you notice, some of the paint had pooled in the center and it migrated out a bit. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to let this dry, just as it is. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some embellishments, embellishments on it. Okay, well here it is, and it dried beautifully. But I'm going to try and do some embellishments right around in here. Try and get more of a center looking poinsettia area. I don't know if I'm going to try and go and actually make individual petals around this yet or not. I think I'll wait and see how the center part comes out because I actually really like this pattern even though it doesn't look look like a poinsettia but I just I love the abstract look of it just as it is without even the embellishments in here. I just, I really like it like that, so. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'll try and do something with the center. Okay, let's go record. And see if we can make this even prettier. Be right back.
Oh, what the hell? How did that happen? To show off the show off, do you need power? When did this happen? What? I got a hole in my canvas. Yes.
this one really made me work for it, didn't it? But I do love the results and I was in love with this one right after I started it. So that's why I worked so hard to try and save it after I found that tear. Wow, was that a blow to the gut seeing that hole in it. I still don't know how it happened just from walking from the back studio out to the desk in the front room. So I don't know. But if it can happen, it happens to me. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really pretty. I don't think it looks that much like a poinsettia. I know it's abstract art, but to me it looks more like a cactus flower. If you've seen some of the cactus flowers I get um, outside, then yeah, you go, wow, that looks a lot like that cactus flower. But... Yeah, um, let's see if I can find the patch. Um, let's see. <laughs> yep, there it is, right here. It's not that noticeable, but to me it's noticeable. So yeah, this will not be going up into my Etsy shop just for the main reason that that patch is on there. And yeah, I'm not going to sell a damaged item. But, um... I guess if you are interested in it, you could always reach out to me on my um, business email that's down in the description. But yeah, this will not be in my Etsy shop. And I will paint the little tag, the little denim patch. I'll go over that and try and blend that in with the back of the canvas also so it's not so noticeable. But still, um, it'll definitely be discounted, that's for sure. Um, so I hope you all have a great Merry Christmas. I will show you what this looks like out in the sun because does it ever shimmer and shine? I really like it. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we're back with dried results, and it came out really pretty. You can see how the shimmer and shine, and yeah, you can't really notice the patch too much. Boy. So, okay. Hope you're all having a safe and wonderful Christmas weekend, and I'll see you all again on Monday. Okay, till then, loves and hugs y'all. Bye!